This festival started in 2007 and was established to celebrate the heritage and culture of the northern area of Nelson Mandela Bay, in particular uh, with emphasis on bridging the divide between community development and the arts. It is their 10th birthday now and this year to commemorate their decade of existence, they are going back to where it all began. That's Van Dijk Hems Clough in Bethel Stop. And that's where our reporter, Kim Daniels, is at. Kim, good to chat to you this afternoon. What's happening there at the moment? As you can see, there's a lot of fun and there's a lot of activity happening here in the northern areas. And you know, the northern areas is an area that's known as notorious for its gangsterism. But you know, out of the muck and the mire of the socio-economic problems comes something positive, which is this festival, you know, where young artists can come portray their talents. And you know, it's the 10th anniversary this year. They started in 2007 and they brought it back to where they originally started, here in Bethel's Door, which is also one of the oldest settlements that is here in B. But here to tell us more is founder of this festival, uh, Mr. Billy Bosa. Mr. Billy Bosa, Well, 10 years ago, I was sitting in my office, I was running a radio station and I, I just felt I wasn't doing enough. We didn't have enough local music on the radio and I decided to take a big leap of faith and go out into the community and develop young people and develop young talent. The talent that you see here are all young people that haven't had a stage and the stage we provide is a massive stage and some of them have never performed on a stage like this. So in all the crime and the negativity in our area, this is notorious, this area is very notorious for crime and, and substance abuse. But in the 10 years that we ran this festival, we took a lot of young people off the streets and a lot of them have found a platform so much so, much so that today there are six other festivals around in the area and 60% of these guys that used to perform here are now performing on those stages. So that's a feat for us. It's a, almost a miracle. Well, just the fact where we stand, this place is uh, more than 200 years old. The venue is, uh, the venue is 200 years old. The, the houses here, it's called Bettelsdorp, and yeah. it was built in 1803 by a missionary called Johannes van der Kemp. And for 214 years, we have this great legacy, this great uh, uh, heritage site. And uh, we just felt for 24th of September, which is heritage, it would be make a very, very good event, and it does. Every year, we've been here for 10 years, not on this side, but in the area for 10 years. And we trust God that we will be here for a, for a long time to come. The unfortunate thing is, this festival is not built on brands from outside in. We build, we build the brand, we build the artist. Tonight we have a program called uh, the Daedalic Divas. Now, uh, Melissa, Melissa Allison was a, uh, she was a finalist in, this, in the ad, in the idols. And so she will be performing for tonight with uh, her mum, which is Shemaine Allison, with Janine Wilson, Praline Lamini, who won the first Sky's the Limit in 2009. And these guys have become great. Janine Wilson is a good singer. She sang from four years old. And Miss Mona will be performing with the band and she is making strides at the moment, writing her own material and she is just brilliant. So the, the artists that perform are artists that have come out of here. And and some of them are coming in, but most of the artists, 90% of them, we've given the platform from 10 years ago and they become big names in their own right. As you can see, there's a lot of talent here and even with the weather that's been a bit uh, cold and windy and very rainy, people have come out in their numbers and come to enjoy, you know, the family fun, there's stalls where you can eat, there's games where the kids can play, it's just a good fun-filled family event. But that's from us here in PE. Back to you, Joba. Well, many thanks uh, to our reporter there, Kim Daniels. And with all that music, I'm sure it will be fun at the Northern Arts Festival, which has just kicked off for this weekend. To this story now. Nobody